Hi, I'm Sai from Biosphere Solar and we're developing the world's first circular and fair solar panel. And best of all, it's fully open source. Solar panels are pretty awesome and can last as long as 30 years, but at some point they inevitably break. And since right now solar panels are impossible to take apart for repair or recycling, a huge amount of waste is being created by the solar industry. So in this video we're going to show you how solar panels actually break and we'll show you how Biosphere Solar is developing a better version of the solar panel which creates much less waste. So we're headed to the Green Village, which is one of the buildings on the TU Delft campus, hey, where all sorts of new innovations get tested. So it's a, it's a field lab. This is the first place where our solar panels are actually installed. So let's go have a look. So here we are at the Green Village. Here we are testing our third prototype and our fourth prototype. And they are actually installed here in the outdoors, supplying electricity to the grid. They're being tested alongside some aging solar panels, which I will tell you more about in a bit. So solar panels consist of a piece of glass on the front, the solar cells in the middle, and on the back, a sheet of plastic or glass and the whole stack is glued together with a material called ethyl vinyl acetate or EVA lamination. That lamination makes it impossible to take the solar panel apart for repair and makes it incredibly difficult to recycle it. So why does the industry do this? Why did they glue everything together? Well, the glue keeps the solar cells safe from the outside environment for a good 25 years. And after that, the warranty is over, so it's not really the problem of the manufacturer anymore. So what does happen after those 25 years? Well, in Europe, recycling is mandated, so it gets sent to recycling, but it's really, really difficult to recycle. So what they often do is just send this panel to the shredder and the resulting shreds are used for fillers in asphalt or concrete. So it's really downcycled. And in the rest of the world, where recycling is neither economical nor mandated, the solar panels are just left in the field or end up in a landfill where all of their valuable materials and components are lost and all of the toxic materials that are in a solar panel end up just leaching into the environment. Yeah. So this is why I started Biosphere Solar, to make a better version of the solar panel. And to show you how that works, I'm gonna head to Blue City to compare our prototypes to solar panels out there today. Can I get in? <laughs> So, we're here at Blue City, the circular economy hotspot in Rotterdam. And for the past week, we've been exhibiting our biosphere solar panel compared to conventional solar panels, showing how conventional solar panels break and how our design circumvents those breakage modes. So here you can see a small version of our prototype. So first of all, it doesn't have that EVA glue layer. So here we cut this solar panel in half and you can really see why it's impossible to take it apart for repair or 
refurbishing or recycling at a high value. And that EVA glue layer can also become brown and yellow over time, like you can see on this old solar panel. And that is because of UV degradation. The UV radiation degrades the, the glue and even causes bubbles to form which can reach the edges and then moisture and oxygen can come in really finishing it off. Now, by not having that EVA, we already solved the main ways in which solar panels degrade and we made it possible to take it apart. Of course, there's some other things that could happen. As you can see here, the glass can break during transport or uh, because of a heavy hailstorm, for example. And we have to design our solar panel to make sure that when that happens, the whole assembly stays together so that we can still recover the components and materials. Finally, the cells themselves also degrade. And if that happens, we designed the solar panel so that you can take it apart and replace that cell that is broken. So, what we are creating is a solar panel that lasts much longer and can be taken apart in the end. It's an open source project, so anyone can help us develop it and nobody can patent it anymore. Currently, we're getting support from governments and industry players to help us develop the solar panel, but what we still need is support from you. On our website, you can submit your own designs. You can also donate to help us fund our development, or what you could do is subscribe to our channel to stay up to date and help us grow our impact. So that's it for this video, and we will see you next month where we'll show you more about what we do here at Biosphere Solar.